Hey YouTube, this is Lawrence, the Mighty Comics Guy, back with another video. And today I got a whole lot of stuff that I picked up that I, I want to show you guys. I ac actually ended up hitting up a, uh, a monthly comic show on Sunday and I was able to get a, a few good books that I had been looking for um, at decent prices. Uh, for anybody who's in New Jersey, check out the uh, Clifton Comic Expo. It happens about once every month. Um, they also do shows in Hasbro Heights, Secaucus area, so check them out. There's a lot of good dealers there. Um, a few of them I know personally. So without further ado, guys, I'm going to show you what I picked up. And I also have a few unboxings I'm going to do that I got in the mail as well. So first thing I'm going to show you is what I picked up from the show. And that I'm going to start with this one. It is Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars number one. I'm sure everybody knows what this book is. Um, Secret Wars is a big to do uh, back in the day. Um, everybody knows the uh, number eight issue, which is of course the uh, the first black costume. Uh, but I loved the Secret Wars growing up, and unfortunately, a lot of the books that I had back then I, I no longer have. So I was glad to pick this one up when I saw it. It's a cheap book, guys. I mean, it's labeled here 25 bucks, but I didn't pay that. I think I paid 20. So, um, I have, of course, I have number eight, the first appearance of the black costume, but I wanted to pick up the number one issue just in case, you know, for future Marvel movies, you never know what might happen. And again, I love the Secret Wars story. So, um, the next one I'm going to show you is a one I also picked up at the show, but I picked it up from one of the guys from my local LCS that was there. This one is Green Lantern, Green Arrow, number 87, uh, the first appearance of Jon Stewart. Um, it's a low grade copy. I only paid 20 bucks for this, guys. There's, of course, there's a, there's a miswrap here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, top right hand corner, there's a piece missing out. There's a bunch of creases in the book, but you know what, for 20 bucks, I, I figured the first appearance, how could I say no, right? 20 bucks, I mean, Especially with the Green Arrow franchise is the way it is. We don't know if we're going to get Hal Jordan. We may get Jon Stewart. So nobody knows. So I figured for 20 bucks, it's a cool looking cover. I'm not a huge DC guy, but um, you know, actually I shouldn't say that. When I was a kid, I was a huge DC guy. Batman, Superman, all the Legion of Doom guys. So um, anyway, for 20 bucks, I'm glad I could pick this, this copy up. Here is my next one that I have been looking for for a bit. Again, another inexpensive book, but I was able to pick this up. Uh, Master of Kung Fu, Marvel Special Edition number 15. First appearance of Master of Kung Fu. Again, it's, it's marked 65, I didn't pay for that. I paid 60 bucks for it. Um, again, a, a book I had been looking for for a while, and it seems like the copies I was finding are, on eBay were just not that great. Um, this is a pretty high grade book, I would say. It's probably like an 8.0. Um, all the corners look good. There's no creases. There's no spine ticks. So I don't know. There is a little bit of a, I don't know what you want to call that, a ding up on the top left hand corner. But other than that, it looks book looks pretty clean to me. So I'm glad I was able to pick up that. And the main one that I picked up from this show is something I have been looking for. Um, especially with the new Daredevil Season 3 coming out, is the uh, um, Daredevil, The Man Without Fear, 131, the first appearance of Bullseye. Uh, it's rumored to be in the Daredevil, Daredevil Netflix show Season 3. Um, I was looking for his first appearance and Elektra's first appearance, which I didn't find there, but I'm still looking for that one if anybody has a copy, a good copy. Um, but I was happy to have this. Again, I paid 100 bucks for this book, which I thought was pretty good. Um, especially now, I, I kind of seen an increase going up on eBay for this book because everybody seems to know that uh, Bullseye may show up in this season's Netflix show. So, but again, a high grade copy, I would say probably about an, anywhere, you know, an 8 to an 8.5, possibly a 9.0, but I don't know that maybe stretching it. Uh, so, those are all the books uh, I picked up at the show. Um, like I said, if anybody's local, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, that can get to these things, they're definitely worth it because uh, there's a lot of cool dealers there that are are willing to, to give good prices on stuff. So, 
Anyway, I got two books on eBay as well I'm going to show you guys. And the first one um, came in a nicely wrapped package. I'm going to show you that. And I'm going to wrap, unwrap it off screen because, uh, I don't know, I just find that I fumble around less when I'm doing this off screen than when I'm doing it on camera. So I do know which books they are that I got. There's going to be two that I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, I believe they're both first appearances. I'm going to take a look as soon as I get them fully open. So inside the package is another, I don't want to say package, but two pieces of cardboard, which is cool, much most people do nowadays. Right. Let me get this open quickly for you guys so I can show you. Okay, there we go. And of course, they have it taped to the inside as well, which I can't stand. The regular tape instead of painter's tape, but it is what it is. Books look pretty good. And of course, they put a big sticker down the side of the front of the bag. But uh, let's see, you know, if I could at least show you you know what it looks like and that it is Conan the Barbarian number 24 which is the first full appearance of Red Sonia um, I, I showed you guys 23 the other day uh, which is the first cameo here's the first full which I was glad to pick up and it's in pretty decent shape again guys not not a very inex not a very expensive book at all very very cheap but all corners look good to me there may be a spine tick or two that I, that I can see from just looking at the book, but I wasn't sure which one to pick up, so I got them both, you know? Um, I wasn't sure which, which you know, was more desirable, the, the first full or the first cameo. So, I, you know what, let me pick them both up. They're both inexpensive. And uh, I think I got this one for under 40 bucks. So, I mean, it was ridiculously cheap. So, I'm happy to have this. Anytime I can get a first full or a first cameo, I'm gonna do it, so. I got one more book to show you, which is a bigger book, price-wise anyway. Again, very, very affordable. And this book has picked up some steam um, within the past couple of months. Um, to be honest with you, I think a lot of people are overpaying for it, in my opinion, but I think I may have even overpaid a little, but um, with the news that this character may get like a show or something like that, I, heard, uh, I figured why not pick it up. Um, I wish I paid less for it than I did with shipping. And all these prices that you guys, I give you guys with shipping, of course, or if I pick up books at a show, obviously there's no shipping. And I'm not going to factor in gas because, you know, that would be just ridiculous, right? But uh, this is the box that it came in. Just so anybody wants to see that. Uh, priority mailboxes, which I do prefer. Wrapped with a ton of bubble wrap, which again, I love. And it doesn't seem to be taped crazily which is even better and a nice uh, you know package inside there um, inside this I could already feel the, uh, the um, cardboard so where is Hope you guys like the new format. I had to buy a new camera stand because my old one, I don't know if anybody watched these last two videos, it was causing a problem with my with my camera where it was, it was being wavy, which I had never seen before. So last two videos, you're gonna see some waves, but uh, this seems to be correcting the issue for now. So I'm glad about that. I'm almost there with this. Um, it's in a really, really nice, you know, cardboard holder which actually is just for comics which is really really cool and I am almost there except for of course it's in more cardboard so after all that I have some more cardboard to show you and I just need to get around this and we are home free another thing I wanted to mention to you guys is that I, I'm officially at 81 subscribers now um, these last week or so, I really jumped up, had a nice bump, and I, I totally appreciate all you guys who are following me now. 
uh, I follow most of you guys back so um, once we hit that hundred mark I'm gonna be doing a giveaway I haven't decided a hundred percent what I'm going to be giving away but it will be comics obviously it's not gonna be um, something else it may actually be something else that I might throw on on top of the comics but nothing crazy guys I so don't get like uh, super super excited but like I said free is free and you know it's just a my way of saying thank you to you guys for listening to me rant listening to what I have to say about comics listening to me about what my comics are worth to me what they're what are my favorite comics what I like to collect I mean I think that's why we all do this right so Well, this is interesting how he uh, how he did this. So I want you to check this out. This is the front of the book, and this is the back of the book. So I don't know why he did it like that. Uh, I hope the book is in there. I'm going to do that right now and find out. But uh, maybe just for added protection. I have no idea. But here we go. Let me open this up. And yes, the book is in there. Thank God. You know, it's kind of wrapped backwards, but that's all right. I'll fix that later. Uh, looking at this book, I knew what the grade it was going to be, but uh, there's a couple more spine ticks than I would have liked for what I paid for this. So here you go. It's Mr. Miracle number one, which is the first appearance, first Mr. Miracle. Um, this book has gone a l like skyrocketing lately. Like it's over a hundred bucks, which I, I don't know. If it should really be that be honest with you I paid 110 with shipping uh, just hoping that you know that they ended up doing something with the character in the future so you know it remains to be seen but uh, it's a cool looking cover Jack Kirby I believe so I wasn't gonna say no to that but uh, I'm glad I picked it up now uh, rather than later if they do come out with something so Either way, guys, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for checking me out. Thank you for watching my videos. And there's so much more good stuff to come, I promise you. So this is Lawrence, the Mighty Comics Guy, saying thank you, and I will see you soon.